Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Free to Play, and we're still pounding through these trial by fire challenges. This time we have to do the Thunderbolt. I don't own one of these, so we're gonna have to use the trial mech. Unfortunately, though, because this trial mech is old design, like super old design. Three large pulse lasers and a standard engine. Why? This mech is so old. You could put a a light something on this. You could get a light engine on this. You could get a way more tonnage back. You could go to a light pharaoh instead of full pharaoh. You could get a big MRM on this, which would be really nice with a bunch of medium lasers. Oh, there's so many things you could do to this thing. But unfortunately, this mech was built before all of those considerations and its armor distribution is horrid with 12 in the back. But we need to just brute force our way through 1200 damage in this mech before we can move on to the Jager mech, which I do own, so I should be able to do better in that because I'll have my own design. But uh, there's nothing left putting off on this. We just have to brute force it. Let us try out our first match with the Thunderbolt. And for the first match with the Thunderbolt, we've got Grim Plexus Escort. Wait, that's not the VIP Atlas. That's the VIP Atlas. I thought we got confused there for a second. I thought, wow, that Atlas is moving pretty quickly for a VIP. But it wasn't the VIP. Well, there you go. But let us move f to the front lines. The enemy is going to be trying to very specifically get the G7 flag that is a very important flag for them to pick up as it allows them to move on this area while being under ECM and it pushes us back out of G7, G8 as we simply can't hold because it will be always keeping us in targeting range and uh, they're able to, one, when we try to peek they know exactly when and also they can LRM us like crazy. So the number one thing we need to do right now is prevent the G7 flag capture. So let us go do that. We're going to get into position, and we will trade armor for this if necessary. So we're going to get right here on the edge, and if somebody tries to rush forward and take it, our goal isn't really to just outright kill them. It's just to do enough consistent damage to them that they can't take it. So that panther is on the point. We need to push forward and shoot it. We need to get him out of there. Good. Enough to get him out of there. Get back into cover. Nobody's near that point again. I traded so much of my health for that. But it is imperative to the flow of the game that we keep that point. So we're going to get into another position where hopefully we can keep that point. But the only downside on it is that it is really easy to give it overwatch from the enemy side. The Blood Asp. I just, ah, there, just barely nicked him. Prevented it again, but they're gonna take it here in a second, so it is time to run. We can't hold this position really after they take it. Well, they still haven't taken it though. We've just managed to barely keep enough damage on them. I don't know how we're doing it, but we are. VIP is getting hit. That's okay. He's still got a fair amount of health left. Let's come around this corner. Start putting some damage out. I'm probably not going to get my damage goal of try to be at least 400 this match. I'm simply not in the position to do that, and I traded too much of my armor at the beginning in order to prevent that early capture of the, the flag. But, hopefully, we will get this done. Evan Jaguar back here in the back. Give it a nice good laser burst. Come on. CTM's down. Excellent trebuchet. Burst there. Oh my god. So much into my CT. And I'm dead. That was a horrible first match. 125 damage done. Yeah, that was horrible. But let's see if my allies can pull this forward and achieve some sort of victory. The VIP is getting pounded from the rear, but they've got a light in the back that is just ripping up his rear CT. Totally 
un constant back there in G9. But also the VIP is marching straight into the enemy assault mechs. The, our guys really need to push forward and take them out right now, or else the VIP will get taken out by the opponents. But it is not looking good as the enemy is whittling us down. The VIP still does have some health, but it is not that much anymore. He's down to just under probably about a third of his health in the back. And that light back there. Thankfully, we have a medium going back to take care of it. And the enemy now is being cleaned up. And the VIP is going to get away as they only have one light mech remaining. What is that guy back there? It is a panther with a pair of PPCs. Now, this is a very poor performance in terms of my individual results. I only got 125 damage. I'm well below where I need to be for this particular mech. I'm actually forecasting I'll probably need to do about four or five matches with this mech in order to get my goal, which sucks because the mech sucks. But it was very... I think this video, this particular match was important because it showed that the importance of that flag. We held that flag for the entire time and allowed us to see the entire enemy force of where they were moving and when they were peeking at us. We got 137,000 sea bills earned, zero kills, eight assists, 125 damage done. On to the next match. And for our next match here, we're back on Grim Plexus. This time it's skirmish. Still, same sort of thing, although we don't have to desperately prevent the uh, the capture of that one particular point. Oh god, and more arties. Um, but we'll move into the Gamma 7 area, get situated, get ready to repel the invaders. And I, I have to remember, in a Thunderbolt, my mech sticks out more to the right than I expect. I must remember that for the future. I'm not used to driving these for a while, because the cockpit is so off-centered. They want to roll through Fox 7? Fine, I will do that. I am okay with such things. I need my 1200 damage. I need it. We're only 125 or whatever it is through it. Ah, <sighs> this mech sucks. My god, this mech sucks. It really needs an update. They need to do an update on a lot of the trials, as there are some really old builds in here. And also, screw Arties. <laughs> I just took 40% damage from an Artie. Like, screw off. I hate them so much. I'm down at 63% just from getting hit by already strikes and the match hasn't even really started. <sighs> I predict I will do sub 300 damage in this match. Because that's just how it is. Can't wait until I can get into my Jaeger mech. It'll do so much better than this. I might actually switch these around to uh, have the right click be the the chain fire. As I seem to be screwing that up. It's my right and left click. So let's just make it the left click. That's the triple. Hmm. Okay, hit there. Not really, but it was acceptable. I'm so afraid of the enemy. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, so much damage. <sighs> I would still be like perfectly almost fresh if I hadn't got hit by those strikes, my god. Let's see what we can get over here. Hey, side shots. Oh, I want to shoot this Fafnir a bunch. Come here, you little Fafnir. I want to farm your side torso. Thank you. New target but now that he's noticed me, I'll just shoot at this Victor. 
wait until he's shooting somewhere else. New target acquired. And then return to Dakaing. Oh, lasering. Let's go after the Evan Jaguar. Straight into him. Blah. Push. Get into cover here. And then just go, hi, Evan Jaguar. Let me take your side off. Ow, but you're painful. Push on through. We gotta break on through to the other side. Boom! Free kill there. Excellent. Three enemies down. Comparatively, we only lost like maybe 15% of our health to actually enemy fire. But we're almost dead. <laughs> Isn't that funny how that works? And no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to stop complaining about these damn strikes. This particular match is just a perfect example of why they're horrible for the game. They honestly should be removed. But, I don't have control over such things, so... Not much I can do about it. Except, just keep shooting, let's keep shooting. Miss links. I don't want to know how to deal with it. I'm probably going to die here in a second. Lost my weapons. Might as well just stand still because there's nothing more I can do. Did I do horribly? Yes, I did. Only 367 damage done. So my last two matches were equivalent to what I need to do in one match in order to get this mech done on time. So I am definitely looking for an extra long episode this time as this mech is just horrible performance. But, we only have a few allies left, so let's hope they die horribly and quickly so we can move on to our next match. As as soon as I'm out of the fight, and there's no real reason for the match to go on further because it's interfering with me, then I'm just a total nihilist. And we have No Name, who is AFK, and we're gonna just call that a AFK F7E7. And just allow the allies, allow our enemies to go find him and get him. Oh, and they got him. Center torso, grit, and he's gone already. Excellent. We'll see what the post-game stats are like, see how horribly we did, and then move on to the next match. We got 116,000 Seabills earned. One kill, three assists, 367 damage done. Let's get out of this mech before I feel even sadder. But on to the next match. And for our next match, we have got Crimson Straight Conquest. Oh, should I even bother trying to do anything on Theta? I don't think so. I'm really frightened of Theta with this particular mech. It's too open for that side. I could go and be silly and go to Epsilon. See if I can catch out maybe one of their lights or something. Try to laser it a little bit. Eh, why not? I seem to be the first one in that direction. Got some decent speed. So let's go to Epsilon. Let's see what we can do. Our little force there is getting into trouble. Somebody's shooting at him. Which is what I did not want to have happen to me. But let's see if the enemy starts to capture Epsilon before we get there. Let's see. I hope they don't. Actually, I kind of hope they do. I hope they get like a light on Epsilon that's completely oblivious and allows me to go in behind him and like Alpha Strike his back and kill him. That would be a perfect world. But that doesn't happen very often. But when it does, it's amazing. But it looks like we'll be able to capture Epsilon with no issues. And then maybe possibly do some silly things. All right, Sorry. we're into Epsilon. Capturing that point. We have gained Epsilon. I keep thinking that this little section here, that little section is actually out of bounds because on the top of that mountain right there, you can get into a little crevice in the center of it, which is uh, pretty hard to shoot you if you're stuck in there. 
And I keep looking at my map and going, Ooh, I see an enemy. Oh, wait, it's just the, the out of bounds marker. <laughs> that maybe is something you could exploit. Our king crab does have a low signal. He's being attacked by an ECM light. Let's head back towards our king crab. Rescue him from his predicament. He put up a UAV. As that is actually a really good response to that. Have ECM something attacking you. Put up UAV to get the track on it. And show to your allies that you're being attacked. He's still at 95%. We've lost one of our allies. That is no good. We're losing Gamma, so they do have some guys around our backfield here. I don't know if I can stick around to help this King Crab too much. I need to go to the front lines. There is the enemy. It was a Locust, a Pirate's Bane. But he looks like he's on the hunt for him. Let us go right into the enemy. Did we lose another person? No. I think they're going to come out this side door here and just take us out. They look like they've gone through the tunnel really hard which is frightening for us yeah they're coming out that side door not getting in the way of this piranha we don't want him to get stuck there but ooh that piranha not paying attention there's a guy right there who's just derping shots into you and I, I bet we're still gonna do like under a hundred damage or something this match We've just been in bad situations this entire time. The enemy's got us pinned here with a nice treb thing. We've got assaults right in front of us. We are going to die horribly, and there's nothing I can do about it. Because both this match sucked, and also this mech sucks. Under 100 damage. Oh, I did 156. That was more than I expected. It's still shit, but it's not super shit. It's just an average shit. Ah. I'm honestly thinking I might just like be like that's enough for the video and then just grind this out off camera because this is not going to be pretty. This is really not going to be pretty. But we have lost seven people to getting one kill. Truly an amazing result. We're aiming at the wrong dude there. Yeah, that's it. Shame of the Banshee. You got another one, dude. He's gotten all of our kills so far. So, good for him. But, unfortunately, we will lose this match. Which really sucks. And that Mad Dog must be super overheated if he's not moving yet. We have so many salty people in the chat. Dudes, if you lose, you don't have to be salty to other people. You just have to be salty to yourself. Keep it inside. But we have one ally remaining. A king crab who has been searching for a locust for the last few minutes. And uh, this, this is special. Halfway to victory. But yet... Eh. It's the kind of event where if you just keep banging your head against the wall, eventually you'll succeed. As even if you just do one damage per match, if you can do a thousand matches and win. <laughs> Although hopefully I don't get there. My god. As realistically, you should just charge straight at the enemy and get her over with. There you go. Chase that guy down. Target him up. Get in there. Dock the shit out of him. Doesn't matter anymore if you're getting attacked from the back or anything. <laughs> Ignore the little locust. There's nothing you can do about it. And just go straight into the enemy with guns a-blazing. Got him stuck in some situation here. And finally, he's down. Good game to our opponents. 
Let's see what these pathetic post-game stats are like. Seventy-seven thousand Seavils earned, zero kills, two assists, one hundred and fifty-six damage done. <sighs> well, let's move on from this match. And I think I'm just going to leave the Thunderbolt there. I'm going to off camera just bash my head against the wall until this mech is done. But in the meantime, we have gotten what we got here. 648 damage done on it so far. I have enough content for a for a video here, so I'm not going to <laughs> expose you guys to more of this horridness. Let us move on to the Agramech, and I'll come back to bash my head against the wall with this at a later date. Although I don't have much time left with this trial by fire. Ah! But that is going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching and good hunting.